Hi, welcome to the next channel. So after I posted a couple of videos on uh, your strengths and your weakness and as well as another episode on uh, when I get a job and uh, I am looking for a job change or uh, domain or something like that. Uh, uh, both these videos I kind of uh, mentioned about uh, uh, astrology and uh, uh, this is some reason uh, I got a uh, uh, few curious uh, mails about the same. I got, uh, you know, few viewers uh, asking me few things uh, about the same uh, in the mail. So I thought, uh, let me take an exclusive episode so that um, uh, then what I just uh, uh, given some glimpse in this episode, I can discuss um, you know, a bit more in depth in case if you are uh, open enough and curious enough in a sort of a topic like this. So the problem is uh, <laughs> uh, when you think about uh, the guys in uh, uh, working in a company, uh, we have uh, sort of, you know, uh, biased uh, you know, approach, uh, when they approach about uh, doing stuff in the work, day-to-day uh, -day routine, uh, they do in a specific way, the way the guidelines the company have put at the same time, they approach things in a, you know, specific way. But if you deeply analyze, uh, they will also contemplate with respect to their personal life. They don't know about how to maintain a, a specific relationship or else they will be confused about their career itself most of the time. So, and sometimes even includes me. Okay, so see whatever I say, please note this is something even I am also affected time to time. It is not that I am isolated and talking big things actually. So, so this is what. So when you think about astrology in technology, okay, this is what I have given a very quick glimpse. See in the video I mentioned your strength and weaknesses. So this is some common question they ask in many interviews and when I attended even that, you know, extreme networks interview, even one guy I asked. So uh, I got uh, a comment about. Uh, uh, you know how uh, so you want to judge someone based on their date of birth or something see it is not that I am telling everyone to use astrology alone as some kind of yardstick the thing is it gives a sort of a clue okay see if you are a hacker if you are working in security domain in uh, uh, IT what happens is you need to find certain clues some vulnerabilities and uh, through the loopholes you know that there is a security hole and then you slowly go through this single loophole and then you can hack the entire system so same way you need to uh, sort of derive stuff with a lot of clues in astrology so this is what makes me interesting and moreover it's a very you know shame that guys who are working in core system software domain uh, even in our country they do pray god and stuff like that but end of the day without having any insight they go and stand before a stone statue and just pray god without even knowing the fundamental aspects of that and also i have seen often guys who tell that I believe in God rather than in astrology. You are again confused. See, the astrology is not some superstition or some uh, kind of a theory. It is sort of intro woven and if you deeply analyze, it is just, you know, it's very much you know tightly woven okay in one side you are praying god and astrology is a part of that it's a part of spiritualism okay and it gives a sort of connections and gives some kind of meaning of your existence so when you are working in system software domain especially you are working in that core uh, you know internal aspects and even i was discussing with a guy who is in uh, embedded uh, uh, development uh, he is kind of confused whether to join as a student or not <laughs> so when i see his uh, date of birth or something there itself i can see there will be a lot of contemplation and confusion do exist so this is what so uh, this sort of a clue we can get and moreover we should not take blindly seeing some astrology we should not judge a person we should see this is a sort of a clue which can 
you know lead to understanding some behavioral aspects okay currently we don't have that that's what i'm saying when you have the code okay you have uh, the source code seeing the source code you will derive how this code works in the you know once you compile the binary how it works or else if it is some uh, python script or something once you run that script how it works we will know naturally <laughs> but in the case of uh, <laughs> a person's behavioral aspect other than astrology i don't see any other way you can crack yes of course psychologically you can do some analysis uh, you can give some uh, questionnaire they can falsify anything okay there is no guarantee that they are giving you the right you know answers okay this is why if any hr asks about uh, strengths and weaknesses or any sort of job interviews 90% they are not actually doing the proper behavioral analysis of a person they are assuming okay so and so he have worked and then we can get him uh, based on this aspects and at the same time they will grill about all his background and all this you know background checks and they waste lot of time in unwanted stuff rather than focusing you know about something which is well established and unfortunately we have left it out okay in the name of this so called western approach because end of the day even when you consider about uh, hr the hr is just uh, you know uh, may do some mba in hr and after that they will land a uh, job and uh, mba the ed- entire education system we are getting again from the western world it is not uh, you know something it has been customized either so whatever some Uh, johnny or someone have invented in france they will put in the books and then those books we are trying to read and then that's about it so naturally what is the thing is this is a sort of well established science provided you do a sort of investigative research based analysis okay here is the situation uh, i don't do any sort of paid astrological <laughs> astrology consulting and all that see if i do that my approach will be completely different and i will be like at another astrologer instead i do a lot of research based uh, study i generally do research on anything let it be networking kernel whatever it is which is why you have the linux channel okay which is most of my research whenever i do time to time sometimes i do share in uh, a linux channel that includes even about deep spiritualism because when you think uh, you are working in systems uh, you have to understand systems is like very deep spiritualism okay uh, you will go to the bottom most uh, you see the processes you see the operating system you see virtualization it is like deep spiritualism and uh, when you uh, see the guys uh, who say that this is a uh, you know i don't believe in ghosts i don't believe in uh, spirits and all this bullshit actually what is happening is Uh, when a person is possessed by any uh, uh, spirit or atma or something the person may have some kind of um, uh you know you know binary uh, mind uh, binary mindset uh, so he may have the same human being in the physical form may have two qualities and it may sort of um, you know make him uh, to change his behavior time to time in an unpredictable way okay so this is what uh, some people may get schizophrenia and other stuff so this is what you know these aspects are same like uh, we have what we have in the systems we have the bare metal in the bare metal we install an operating system say for instance uh, we have this bare metal we have an os the software layer okay which is like what we have in the brain is our you know mind okay a conscious mind so over there we have in another situation i can run any of this uh, vms you can see here based on the vm i can get one more you know uh, instance of entire os uh, can run within the same uh, you know hardware so same way when a person is possessed by ghosts or something this is what it is so that is why i'm saying anyone who is working in a deeper system level aspect so they have to pray especially certain gods which will in tune can help them to focus in their career as well especially if you are working in systems you have to pray more a god like kali or goddess durga or else more of you know shiva as such because shiva is the entire the 
base you know fundamental aspect so you will get more in tune with respect to the characteristics of shiva see he is a creator destroyer and uh, you know whatever it is so he can uh, give soul he can take away and uh, stuff like that and he is the recruiter of yama and uh, uh, and all this uh, you know planetary aspects so, so this is where the hierarchy comes so, so whenever you see any uh, dosha or defects in a specific horoscope the astrologer will recommend you to do specific uh, remedies or parihara based on that because due to this connection okay the, due to this connection based on this uh, he will uh, give some type of remedy so that it will uh, solve that particular aspect let it be job issue or divorce or something like that he will give some type of uh, remedy so that it will address your uh, problem okay. so that way if you see in uh, one of the episodes in this uh, episode about when i get a job i mentioned about internet is ruled by three aspects important aspects when it comes to entertainment I meant uh, fun and uh, porn and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> Internet is uh, uh, ruled by planet Venus. You should also understand people who are working in mostly UI, uh, any mobile uh, mobile apps and uh, other stuff. Uh, all these guys are mostly ruled by planet Venus. Okay, and same way when it comes to the uh, uh, networking aspects, so when you are working in. Uh, uh you know network routers networking software protocol physical layer whatever it is okay all this uh, protocols uh, uh in the software layer as well as the physical layer and signaling and other stuff this is mostly ruled by planet mercury so this is also one reason i'm wearing this green shirt because green is an associated color with planet mercury so mercury when you think about uh, social media it is also ruled by planet mercury when you think about facebook or when you think about uh, google's uh, social media aspects it is ruled by uh, planet mercury uh, that includes emails uh, chat and whatsapp and uh, stuff like that so all these are ruled by planet mercury and same way when you think about education sector when you think about any educational platforms uh, uh, let it be like wikipedia let it be any udemy let it be even uh, something like linux channel and uh, uh, stuff like that these are ruled by um, you know you know planet uh, jupiter because uh, jupiter is a guru but there are some exceptions even uh, planet uh, venus is also sort of like a guru and same way planet uh, saturn of course is a sort of a guru please note okay there are exceptions and uh, this is also one reason uh, uh, you may be in a very good job and suddenly someone may put a blame on you uh, there may be some politics in the office and then they may think you are the bad guy and then they may fire you and if you investigate astrologically uh, maybe you have stepped into some sade uh, sati you know shani bhukti or shani mahadasha or any such aspects okay so this is what because shani is going to kick your butt and know the reality of the life <clears throat> otherwise you will have extreme head weight okay so it is your ego <clears throat> have to be crushed because the over the years you have uh, you know built your confidence levels this is also one mistake they do in job recruitment whoever has very good confident levels they think this guy is most suitable for the job because he talks fantastic he says as if he's going to do everything perfect but i tell you these are the people have this you know fine line they may cross at times having arrogance okay so this is why as you uh, grow in your life there are at uh, you know certain instances you may get uh, the shani's aspect shani is the planet of course uh, he is again a recruit of shiva so when you think about and also some people say that shani is also nothing but uh, vishnu as such. so this is also there so uh, this also you know people don't know actually so uh, they get into shani's time and then they think about getting married they think about getting promotion they think about uh, something else uh, in the office you should understand during your shani's time you have to live almost like a saint you have to live like a sanyasi so this is what unfortunately people don't know this 
and they do something completely adverse. Shani is not a planet which will help you always to grow. There are exceptions. Uh, you know, uh, there are exceptions. People have grown to great heights because of Shani's aspect in their astrology. But I am telling most of the cases, if any such aspect comes, he is going to put a full stop of your growth. So, moreover, apart from growth, you may get into uh, various uh, trouble and issues and uh, stuff like that. So, you need to first focus on on a bigger aspect of your life. Don't focus on small silly things. When I upgrade my phone, when I get uh, something else, when I get uh, some better car than this car, I want to get, uh, I have already an apartment when I buy something else and don't go all this stuff. It is completely reverse. If you do during Shani's time, he is going to give shots on your butt and he is going to make you sit and then realize and contemplate why you are born. So, this is the reason once in a while Shani's aspect will come, okay. The Saturn's aspect will come and he is going to put a check, okay. So, that is why whenever you think of uh, a manager, he may have some uh, Saturn's aspect because Saturn represents both manager and the laborers, okay. So, the manager and as well as this uh, guys who work under the manager. See, we have this sort of confused jargon or uh, nomenclature in English because uh, when you think of working in a private industry, please note in ancient um, language, if I translate, you are actually working uh, in a as a slave mode. Okay, so this is what. So when you think you are working in a private industry, uh, it should be properly translated means you are working as a slave. So, this is what, okay. So, people don't even know this. If you are working in government industry, you are working under uh, that Raja or whatever, okay. Rajam we say in Telugu and Rajam we say in other languages. So, you are working under that government. So, you are in a complete different aspect. But the moment you are working in any private industry, uh, let it be even you are uh, some VP or MD, GM, whatever it is, you are still a slave, okay. So, this is what. So, astrologically as well as in ancient language, this is how they speak, okay. So, that is what. So, this they don't know and moreover, <laughs> they think of some type of promotion, some type of uh, job change during this Saturn time which is also not appropriate because that's a time you have to realize many aspects and please note Saturn is a karmic planet. It is going to bring you lot of karmic baggage. You must have done some stupidity and mistakes in the past because of your head weight, because of your attitude, because of your ego and stuff like that. So, this is where time to time Shani comes and corrects your corrects your brain which got corrupted in the past okay so you have to you know spend around two to three years or even um, five to six years as long as this uh, duration goes over and moreover this entire stuff itself is done by God. So, don't say that I don't, I don't believe in this, I believe in God. It's just bullshit. It is like that. He, he is the recruiter of this aspect. So, you have to finally, to get some remedies, you have to pray appropriate God for appropriate reasons. So, this is what. So, when you are struck with uh, Saturn, uh, they say that uh, do certain remedies, uh, pray Hanuman, uh, stuff like that, uh, you know things like that. Again, there are some aspects for that. So, this is the thing. I thought uh, this is not this extent I have described in that. So, still I get uh, when I get mails, uh, I said, uh, you know, this is what it is. And moreover, as I say, I don't consult anywhere astrology because people uh, for the sake of money, just like that, consult astrology. But I tell you, once you consult astrology for money, okay, then the problem starts. Unless you are a proper, uh, you know, well educated, unless you do some shanti and certain uh, stuff, you know, it is a very dangerous domain if you consult for money. I can talk freely, I can do research freely, I can discuss and I can give some opinions of someone. I do get foreign students, I do 
tend to give certain advice uh, this time don't waste i tell them to get married if there are chances and stuff like that i do give some general opinion but <laughs> i tell uh, one thing is this i should not do for money because if i do that for money then that uh, you know uh, that karma will uh, stick on my head and it is going to ruin my life actually so this is what so if you go with any astrologer also he must have done certain uh, shanti and all that and he must have got certain uh, siddhis and stuff only those people are qualified to consult astrology what happens is nowadays for the sake of earning money everybody have started and uh, they see that it is a very good business viability and you know door to door they will put some board saying that uh, we do consult astrology and other stuff which is not end of the day good for him itself he may get money but he may land in other trouble which he cannot solve by himself so this is what uh, when you are uh, you know Uh, attain a specific age understand your reason for existence so this is also part i have mentioned about uh, you know midlife crisis and uh, you know stuff like that in that uh, you know video episode i have mentioned the same uh, when you reach a specific age think about this aspect so the, each time when you do a job change actually there is a specific correlation which will be there when uh, someone deeply un- investigate your uh, you know horoscope and then extrapolate with your job nature there will be definitely a connection okay there can be a person who can be just a doctor versus there can be a person who can qualify qualified enough to become a surgeon see being a surgeon is not a joke he should have some type of ketu or rahu aspect i am not good at this aspect so i am generally saying he should have certain aspects only then he can go that deeper level otherwise you know he can be just a superficial doctor and same way when you think of a psychiatrist psychiatrists are the people who works with the software context of our brain okay? Okay. <clears throat> brain is the physical stuff mind is the software part of it so they work with the mind of that brain so these psychiatrist will have lot of mercury aspect because uh, your uh, brain mostly controlled by planet mercury so if the mercury is not placed well you may get issues with mental issues you may get uh, uh, any kind of mental illnesses and stuff like that similarly if you have uh, bla- bad placement of um, planet venus uh, you may get uh, some uh, diseases on your in your uh, uh you know genitals and uh, stuff like that you may get uh, diseases like sti you know sexually transmitted std and other stuff diseases and you may get hiv stuff like that due to that way so this is also there in the, in case if you get tumors and if you get cancer or something you may have lot of money but uh, if you have some type of bad placement of uh, jupiter sometimes even uh, it can be a kark okay means uh, it can be a factor uh, which is causing this because uh, jupiter is responsible for growth so naturally a new job a marriage a new kid all these things and the promotion all these things can happen during uh, jupiter's time please note jupiter is an ultimate guru that's why we call uh, jupiter as a guru planet guru so and jupiter is also a superior consultant so now if i work as an independent consultant the moment i stepped into the jupiter's aspect i suddenly become into a consultant actually in fact although i tried recently thinking about a full time job you know already what happened in the extreme networks you know interview context so this is what this itself is some game played by planets so, uh, but end of the day it's a game played by god okay so this is what so jupiter is uh, also a planet which controls um, all these aspects uh, besides education he is a superior uh, consultant uh, when you think about a minister for a king that is jupiter okay so this is what so so this is what it is so uh, when you think about all this uh, growth aspects a new house a new kid a new marriage a new wife okay so <laughs> this is what it is uh, and uh, for women again it depends sometimes they get married uh, during jupiter's uh, time uh, we tell as guru bala uh sometimes they do get married during venus aspect also because you should understand venus represents love sex and wife women uh jupiter represents more of um, you know husband's nature husband is supposed to be a guru for the lady okay so this is what is the hierarchy 
वी डोंट इवन नो दिस एस्पेक्ट वी डू गेट मैरिड वी डू ऑल मंत्रास दैट यू नो प्रिस्ट विल चैंट एंड देन वी अग्री एंड देन वी गेट मैरिड अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी डोंट नो एनीथिंग एंड वी गो टू ए टेंपल वी डोंट नो एनीथिंग वी डू वी गो टू ए स्पेसिफिक टेंपल वी नो दैट दिस इज सो एंड सो गॉड बट विथ नो रीजनिंग वी जस्ट प्रे एंड देन वी आस्क गिव मी दिस गिव मी दैट आई विल पुट सम मनी आई डू दिस सर्विस टू यू एंड ऑल दिस बुलशिट एक्चुअली बिकॉज we don't have gone that extent of exploring ourselves okay it is what it is so unfortunately this is the thing without knowing the basis without knowing the reasons we are end up praying the god one side end in the company uh, in our career we do complete opposite bullshit actually so the same bullshit even what i have seen in my interview process as well so without knowing anything we do that but when you see all these aspects are well connected okay so naturally any companies uh, which are working in gaming industry like i mentioned in previous uh, episode uh, you think about uh, you know any sort of uh, you know uh, graphics cards you can see here all this gaming industry uh, you know will have uh, Uh, will need a graphics card and obviously you can see the graphics card part of it is done for a specific reason the design but mostly graphics cards are done with aesthetics in mind they want to make more uh, some type of you know uh, futuristic look with R- rgb leds and other stuff and you can see it will have some type of carved uh, you know um, heat sinks and other stuff with all sorts of colored theme and uh, all this stuff actually so this itself is a planet venus aspect venus is uh, a planet which uh, is meant for beauty and uh, stuff like that uh, so uh, to an extent even moon as well so this is what and uh, whenever you have the aspect of moon you will have the moon swings whenever you have the aspect of mercury again you will have some uh, you know <laughs> unstable mind uh, and uh, stuff like that so this is what we don't know anything what is happening is we will be thinking about how to judge others where we are not even knowing this fundamental aspects and this is killing our relationship uh, the wife doesn't know how to understand a husband the husband doesn't know how to understand a wife the manager doesn't know how to understand a person he just thinks uh, why that guy is able to do this work why this guy is not able to do that work it is your foolishness because you are putting them everybody in the same uh, you know aspect because because of your stupid you know educational system what you underwent we which we borrowed from that you know blindly from the west and after that you do your mba or whatever it is again another stupid aspect we just blindly copied or you know took from the west and we left out this important aspect is the behavioral aspect which you know we are best in the world actually so <laughs> now yoga is something everyone have adopted and it is born in india and now abroad in abroad foreigners are learning and mastering vedic astrology in india we think it is a superstition and we talk i believe better in god rather than this nonsense and other stuff which is you are completely you know don't have any idea so this is what i say so when it comes to that is why when it comes to a specific domain in career these aspects comes into the place okay when you work in an industry like gaming where you work in lot of ui based stuff lot of animation and stuff you know some aspect of that is controlled by <coughs> you know planet uh, uh, venus and when you think about any strategic gaming uh, games like a clash of clans or something like that to an aspect maybe uh, it may be controlled by planet jupiter when you think about uh, um, uh, games like uh, more action oriented to an aspect it is controlled by planet uh, mars because mars rules wars and uh, you know stuff like that bloodshed okay so killing someone in the games and if you are doing that aspect to an aspect you can see the correlation one side the venus the one side is this uh, mars aspect because the game is all about violence and the game is all about uh, 
uh, how you be aggressive and kill your opponents uh, maybe a multiplayer or a single player whatever it is how do you do that and when you think about the ai put in the game the entire ai is controlled by planet you know mercury so this is what so again when you think about data scientists when you think about uh, machine learning uh, and ai this comes under uh, you know planet mercury so if you have good aspects of planet mercury you can shift to that domain if you have good aspects of other planet you will uh, <coughs> you will get into that you know respective domain and <laughs> so this is what it is so there is nothing you may think you have consciously uh, taken a decision but end of the day it is all your um, stuff decided by the god and it's a game played by the god so this is what and uh, yeah last but not least like i mentioned in the previous episode like an individual have astrological aspects even the company will also have based on its uh, inauguration or uh, i mean uh, the time and uh, you know date uh, at which it was founded and its uh, name uh, to an aspect uh, i mean to an extent even uh, numerology plays a part uh, how the name of that company sounds and other stuff um, and uh, yeah it will also have its own ups and downs uh, at some time it may do very well and then uh, it may have uh, some issues due to internal management or top management or uh, low level working uh, employees and uh, stuff like that or else uh, bad financials and uh, stuff like that or else some issue in the stock market or uh, some competitor issue in the market and it may struggle or else uh, suddenly it may do well and now as you know apple was uh, doing well with iphone sales and so now it is stagnant and now it is not growing up and again if you dig uh, i mean if you dig deeper you will find there will be some type of correlation with respect to astrology because you should understand apple was driven by steve jobs and after steve jobs there is no much innovation they just all did this apple watch and no other innovation so if you think about steve jobs is you know he is he <laughs> i mean if you study his astrological aspect you will finally understand why he is so and so so his approach will be different versus if you think about somebody like bill gates his approach will be different because he has a different type of astrological aspects so naturally the way he have driven microsoft it is based on his way of thinking and his way of you know behavioral aspects so that's why so that's why if you see there will be a different approach by microsoft all the time versus a company like apple because apple mostly driven by steve jobs and after they fired steve jobs in between they don't know how to take forward the company and they have got all losses and issues and then again they got him hired back because he is the spine for a company like that okay so this is what so when you think about even um, linus torvalds long back once i did some video and later i better deleted it because some people thought it is some out of context or something so if you think about uh, linus torvalds again what happens is uh, he is uh, a capricorn naturally uh, capricorn uh, people uh, they tend to evolve uh, slow and steady and uh, they have lot of uh, saturn's uh, you know aspects so they do plan and then do think in uh, think and do things in a systematic manner so naturally if you see the uh, growth curve of linux uh, it is not something exponentially it grown up okay so linux had lot of tough time to convince everyone to do in desktop market but it failed but it eventually took forward and uh, you know got into servers and uh, uh, you know data center uh, stuff and uh, now in the form of android in all smartphones we are using linux kernel so as you can see it is slow and steady and it it got uh, penetrated into the market so and as well uh, the code uh, the kernel code how it uh, started and how it is going forward it will be a slow and steady growth but it will be always you know growing up so this is what uh, we can trace the way it has been driven uh, by a guy like linux tolbert so his way of thinking is different his approach is different because if you dig down 
uh, you know we will find some correlation you can't expect linux stalwarts to do some approach like uh, you know steve jobs and you can't expect uh, some bill gates to do some approach like a steve jobs so this is what same way now if you think about elon musk his approach of doing things will be different there are some people who may compare elon uh, with uh, steve jobs uh, <laughs> you know some kind of uh, this thing yes he is a visionary but elon will have a different approach rather than bill gates because his you know be, you know way of thinking is going to be fundamentally different than uh, you know steve jobs but in a way both are uh, you know i think elon is a cancerian and uh, Uh, you know steve jobs is a python uh, in a both uh, in, i mean in a way both are um, water signs so, so in a way both uh, both of these guys are uh, highly emotional and uh, yeah things like that so this is what all this uh, aspects you know do play and uh, if you think about uh, google founders one guy i found is uh, aries or something and another guy he is a uh, Taurus or something, so their approach is going to be completely different. So, so don't uh, you know take to this aspect too serious. I may be not right as well, but as far as I study, this also makes sense. Okay, the how company is uh, uh, you know taken forward, how that company is uh, formed, how it is uh, you know strategized in terms of its business and products, and how they do marketing, how they do sales. You no know, finally the driving force if you trace you will find uh, some answers behind it okay this is what something cannot be hidden okay that is why i'm saying when you have a proper uh, mechanism like this you don't need any guesswork okay rest it is all guesswork okay you can see someone and he may tell great things it's just a guesswork okay he may tell lies and he may tell truth he may uh, he may do anything okay you can't take his words uh, seeing his face value okay we have to see internally what is driving him what is he made up of what is his purpose of life and um, you know what is this you know thought process okay and this belief system so this is what so as far as i know you know the only thing uh, which addresses this context is uh, astrology and when it comes to tech even without knowing this uh, unfortunately we see guys who way in work and uh, who after some time still don't know which direction to go and they'll be confused and after a specific age even more they get confused uh, in the beginning they will be just thinking about uh, starting their job getting some type of uh, you know right job in a nice uh, company in a nice uh, domain or whatever they aspire so that is their focus after they grow in uh, some aspect they'll be highly confused about uh, how to go about it in the future and um, there are specific signs uh, or zodiac signs in astrology prone to get this confusion and uh, also i mentioned there are also some signs which needs always a mentor unfortunately we don't have this system in place the moment we leave the colleges we no longer have any sort of mentor or teachers in our life unfortunately we have teachers these teachers are not worth of anything they may teach some you know subjects in the books uh, as far as the college syllabus or school syllabus other than that they don't mentor anything apart from that so they are completely useless the best mentors you can find in your life is your uh, father and mother and maybe your siblings and uh, some well wishers and friends uh, that's about it unfortunately so that's all <laughs> and uh, you can't expect uh, your manager to be a mentor so naturally i see many guys who get confused in their you know work aspects in their career aspects because uh, you know in the companies we have this useless managers and uh, team leaders who don't know actually what is leadership is okay they just got promoted as a team leader because company thinks after some 3 years okay it's now time to promote this a uh, guy into another role or something like that and then they just uh, you know promote so without any reason so some will be a good team leader most of them don't know how to be a leader first but their designation says he is a team leader and uh, we get also some managers uh, who don't know what managing uh, people is okay so they just get promoted sometimes they do some uh, uh, 
in a political gimmick and then they get into that role and then you know now they are officially designated as a manager uh, but uh, you know when you dig deeper he don't even have that skills nor he is born to do any managerial uh, sort of work so hope uh, this uh, gives some insight uh, uh, this is not again a video for everyone uh, this is some video <laughs> who are curious enough to know this aspect who are searching for answers so hope you must have got some answers so in case if you have anything to discuss uh, be in touch via mail or post your queries in uh, youtube comments so in case if you don't believe in astrology in case if you can't understand you can ignore as well so don't make a big fuss about uh, this i don't uh, agree with you or this is not something uh, i follow or something you can you can't ever follow if you don't believe that if you don't understand as well so this is what so this is something people who are curious here is the information what i just shared you is just maybe 0.0001% of what so far i have done research in astrology so i thought let me give this sort of correlated big picture as i do with my technical videos so that you can you know have something to start with at least okay so you may get some answers what you are looking for so far